I hope you're well and you've had a good day and you're rested and you're safe and all is well with you in Jesus name. Amen. I wanted to come on today and share and pray and I'm reading from Ephesians 6 and it says from verse 10, at the armour of God, it says in conclusion be strong in the Lord, draw your strength from him and be empowered through your union with him and in the power of his boundless might. Put on the full armour of God, for his percepts are like the splendid armour of a heavily armed soldier, so that you may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes and strategies and the deceits of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present darkness against the spiritual forces of wickedness in their heavenly supernatural places. Therefore, put on the complete armour of God, so the word of God, praise the Lord, so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day of danger. And having done everything that the crisis demands, to stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, victorious, so stand firm and hold your ground. Having tightened the wide band of truth, personal integrity, moral courage around your waist and having put on the everything, breastplate of righteousness and upright heart and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm foot stability and the steadiness produced by the good news above all lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, with all prayer and petition, with specific requests, at all times, on every occasion, and in every season in the Spirit, and with this in view, stay alert, with all perseverance, and petition interceding in prayer for all God's people. Amen. Um, and so yeah, the here it's saying the word it's amazing. It's saying a lot there, but what I wanted to focus on was the the um the armor of God. Where the Lord says that uh, the precepts of God, the word of God are like a heavily armed soldier, you know, and it's so powerful, isn't it? It's so amazing. Because the Lord says in the Lord says in um who is the word as well. Um it says in Hebrews four twelve. Twelve. Um let me just sort of check that. Bear with me. It says that for the word of God is living and active, full of power, making it operative, energizing and effective. It is sharper than any two edged sword penetrating as far as the division of the soul and spirit, the completeness of, of a person, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and of both joints and marrow, the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and judging the very thoughts and intentions of the heart. So the word of God is alive, the Lord, the Lord is saying, and active, and isn't it amazing that the Lord is saying, clothe yourself in me, because remember in the word, in John, it says, you know, um, if I can remember it, hold on. In the beginning was the word, and the word was in God, and the word was God. Let me just double check that. So the word, we're clothing ourselves in the Lord. I'm just going to find that now. Bear with me a second. Uh, I'm trying to remind me of it. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, the Lord clothes us with his power by the Holy Spirit of God when we read the word of God. When we read the word of God, the Lord is saying his word is the, the armour. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? It's the protection. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's the protection, a spiritual protection. And it's alive and active. It's powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword, the Lord is saying. So I want to, this is where it's not just for you, by the way, it's for me too. 
to let let us continue to read the word of God, even if it's a chapter before you, before you go to bed, even if it's, a, if it's a chapter before you start your day, or a couple of chapters a day, or even a verse, even one small verse. If you can say, okay, I'm going to read verse, uh, okay, so Ephesians 6 verse from 1 to 2 or to 6 or to 12, 1 to 12, or even just one verse. And you take that verse and you meditate on that all day, even if it's one verse, because that's, that's awesome, that's amazing, just to memorise that and stay with that verse for as long as you need to, until it sinks into your spirit, you know, let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. We thank you for your mercy and your grace, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that the work that you begun in us, you will complete that work, Lord God, until you return, until the day of Jesus Christ. We say, Lord God, that we are we're in uh, the process, Lord God, of becoming more and more like you every day. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you and love you and thank you for your preservation and protection. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, we are empowered. We are encountered. And with your love and your power and clothed in you, Lord, we're clothed in you. We are clothed in you, clothed in Christ. Thank you, Lord. You are who you say you are, and you are who you are, Lord, and your word is true. And we love you, Lord Jesus. And we look to you in this night as we rest, as we come to an end uh, in, in the day that we've, uh, as this day, in uh, this night is, you know, it's coming and we uh, finish our day and we need to go to bed, Lord. I pray that you will protect all of our families. I pray you will protect everything concerning us, Lord, our children. We thank you. We just plead the holy, precious blood of Jesus Christ upon the children. Upon the children, our children, our family, everything concerning us, our homes. That um, all evil will pass over us, Lord, and no harm will come to us. That we are guarded by the angels of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your angels, Lord. Lord, thank you for your mercy, Lord. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Without you, Lord, we'd have no hope. We would have no chance to be with you and share in the inheritance, Lord God, of eternal life, Lord. If it wasn't for you, Lord, what you did on the cross. If it wasn't for your love, Lord, and the selfless act of giving up your life, Lord God, for us. You there would have been no way made for us, Lord God, to have peace with God. And we thank you that you made a way, Lord, where there was no way. We love you, Jesus. Help us to continue to press into you and seek you and to put our families and everything concerning us into your hands, Lord. It's a cast your cares unto me for I care for you, Lord Jesus. Lord, and we give, and I give everything into your hands, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, for protecting us and keeping us safe this night. We pray for a sweet sleep restful sleep, peaceful sleep, for everything, for all of our families, for ourselves, that we'll be refreshed for the day to come, Lord. I was to stay connected to you in prayer, Lord. And when things get tough and challenging, Lord God, thank you for helping us to stand in prayer and to be awake in, spiritually awake, Lord. By your Holy Spirit, we are empowered you, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, the one who speaks and intercedes on our behalf. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's nothing to boast. We have nothing to boast in ourselves, but we can boast in your power, Lord. We can boast in your mercy and your grace and the things you have done, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you. We thank you for the angels that you've sent to protect us, Lord, and keep and guard us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. And we give you all the glory, all the honour and all the praise. Everything belongs to you, Jesus. Help us to have soft hearts, Lord. I pray, Lord God, for everyone that's watching and also for myself. I pray for us to have your heart, a Christ-like heart, in our actions, in everything we do and say. Let us, Lord, be an example and to be like you, Lord Jesus, because you are the model, the role model that we, we model ourselves on, Lord, and aim to be like, willingly, 
help us to go deeper in prayer. Take out our hearts of stone and put in a flesh one, Lord, oh God. Help us, Lord. Our hearts can be in a state that we don't even know until you show us, Lord God, and you reveal it to us, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, and we praise and love you. And we thank you for answered prayer. We thank you that you hear us when we pray. We thank you, Lord, that you hear us when we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.